uh, how to get uh, your prayers answered is an important aspect that a Christian should understand because this is the mode of communication that we use to speak to God and to make him know the needs that we have. Though we really understand from the scriptures that God has already given us everything that pertains to life and godliness, but then we go to him to receive everything that he has given to us by faith. And that is the most important uh, aspect that a Christian should have, knowing how to receive by faith faith from God. So we're going just to dive in directly and discuss how to get your answer, uh, your prayers answered and how should you pray. We've agreed that the first thing or the first significant aspect is having faith that will help you to get what you want from God. Now, when do prayer get, uh, get answered? The scriptures are very clear. That, and it says, I will read, allow me to read in a minute. I'm reading from the TPT version of Mark 11, 24. And it says, this is the reason I urge you to boldly believe that whatever you ask in prayer, be convinced that you have received it and it will be yours. Now we are getting to understand that our prayers are answered immediately. You go to God and speak to him in prayer and ask him to uh, give you something, help you with something. Just that time, that moment that you kneel, that moment that you sit, that moment that you open your mouth and speak to him, then the answers are already given. Now, I know you want to, uh, to ask me a question. Why have I not received some answers? It is because you do not believe or you do not know how to believe and that is to activate your faith so that you can receive anything that God gives you you receive it by faith so when you pray you get whatever you have you have asked for from God by faith if you want your prayer to be answered you have to have faith that whatever you are asking from god he has given it to you and you have received it as the scripture has said uh if you want and i know that you really want to have your 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 uh, your prayers answered you stay away from sin. You completely cannot be speaking to God and continuing to stay away from sin. If you're not born again, then receive Jesus and ask him to forgive your sins. Then you can be able to pray and talk to God from a perspective of understanding. But if you are a born again Christian, then you cannot continue to live in sin because the scripture says in um, Psalm 66 verse 18, if I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. God, you will not uh, do some things and expect that when you're talking to God, you mix yourself so much. Not that we do not fall short. We do fall short, but repent and change and have a different life. But again, you are not mixing. It's not a continuous thing that you keep on doing here and there, now and then, now and then, that you're living in sin, then your prayers will not be answered. But if you're living a righteous life as you have been made, righteous uh, in Christ Jesus then your prayers will get answered and as we said immediately you pray another thing pray and do not pray amiss amiss means to pray out of order now James 4 chapter uh, chapter 3 uh, talks about it but again it is because we pray and we want to serve our ambitions and pleasures, then the answers will not be, uh, the, the answers will not come because it is our selfish motives that make us pray. But if you're praying to God because you want to continue, you want the gospel to move, we are working towards the things that we are supposed to do, then it will be all right for us to just go before God and pray. Another thing is, um, uh, base your prayers on the word of God. That is the most important, significant uh, aspect that a Christian should get to understand. Because I see people praying very funny things and you hear people talking about things that cannot be quite understood. But you have to base everything that you pray. Read the word of God and as a Christian you cannot afford not to pray according to the word. You cannot afford not to know the scriptures. Because the scripture says by the stripes of Jesus we are healed, then you have to get to understand that you pray from a perspective of understanding that it has already been done, then you appropriate it by faith, by receiving the healing that God has already given you. So you have to base your prayers in the word of God so that your prayers...